Hey guys, I'm back with another DVD update. Got some more experimentals uh, here. Let's see what we got so from my older freshman year. The first one, yeah, I thought that yeah, was very, very entertaining with uh, Ryan Reynolds. Uh, second one with Carl Penn, I think his name. Reynolds and Kumar. Yeah, that, that movie, yeah, it, was, it wasn't that great a movie. I, I enjoyed it uh, a bit, but. The movie, the title of the movie didn't make sense from all the way because Van Wilder wasn't in that movie, nor wasn't even played by someone else. He wasn't in it. Just Van Wilder didn't, make, didn't. Yeah, the title didn't make sense. Just say it is a uh, spin-off. But, but yeah, here we got the third part when he just uh, he just get into school and uh, yeah. I don't expect not much about it, but it's probably I, I, I will see what what it uh, what it is. The Messenger with uh, Woody Harrelson and um, Ben Foster about two guys who were job this to tell the, the, the parents, the brother, the the fiance had died in the war and and yeah, I think the relationship between those two and how they, how they evolve. Uh, I think that's the story. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm not that uh, clear about it. But uh, yeah, Woody Harrelson uh, was nominated for uh, for Best Supporting Act. Next one is Harry Brown, starring Michael Caine, who is an elderly uh, elderly who, li who lives in a flat in a really n bad neighborhood with kids who terrorize the neighborhood, kill, killing people and one day a friend of his getting killed because he try, tried to set something about the, to those kids but it all went out of hand. He uh, finds out that the police can do nothing, they have very hard evidence. He wants to take revenge on the, the guys who are responsible for his friend's death. Very good, good movie, Ch check it out. Next one is also a very good movie, it's Brothers. Uh, it's a remake of um, a Danish movie from Susan Beer, uh, Brethren, I think it's called. Uh, I I really want to see the original because I really love the Danish movies. They're they're very good. Um, so, but I, I had I didn't see, see that one yet. Uh, but this one was very good, and I thought Tobey Maguire performance was very very great, especially uh, at the end of the movie. It's, it was very good, very well acted. And uh, I really enjoyed it. Definitely check this one out. House Broken, yeah, it's a, it's a nonsense comedy, and you, I really don't expect much, but uh, yeah, I also want to see it. Gigantic. It looks like a good movie. I saw the uh, I saw the trailer, and yeah, it's a straight to DVD, so I really didn't have the chance to see it uh, in the cinema. But yeah, it stars so Chanel, so uh, that was also a reason why I bought it. Train, a uh, horror about a train where people get slaughtered. It's like uh, Midnight Meat Train meets Saw or something like that. Starring Stora Thor Birch. And what happened to her? Is she only acting in very small, crappy movies or I don't see her much anymore? Uh, I, saw, I saw Ghost World uh, uh, yesterday, uh, two days ago. Very good, uh, enjoyable movie. Red Mist, it's from the same makers as Shrooms. Nah. I also bought it for about two euros, and it's kind of, yeah, I think it's a horror. And Shrooms was it wasn't that great, but it was enjoyable for what it was. Uh, <sighs> crazy movie, but um, so I bought this too because I thought it was uh, enjoyable. The next one is the Imaginary Imperium of Doctor Panassus, starring Heath Ledger, Christopher Plummer, Johnny Depp, Jude Law, Colin Farrell. It's kind of hard to explain where the story is really about, but. Only thing that I, I can say, I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, special effects when they're in the other world aren't to top notch, the best you've seen. It's a wonderful movie, I really enjoyed it. So definitely check it out, check it out if you like those weird Terry Gilliam uh, movies. Uh, definitely check this one out, I really enjoyed this one. Nanny McPhee, yeah. I saw that the, that the second movie still has to get a, get a release in, uh, in the States, but Already, it's all already out on DVD here, and that doesn't that doesn't uh, happen happen much. I ignored the first one I saw it in a, when I saw it came into the cinemas because I thought it was very childish and not really fun. But I watched it, and I really enjoyed it. And the last one is Get to See the Jones and Julian Stimbartha in the Rebound. Yeah, what I already said, I love chick flicks, and I probably enjoy this one too. So yeah.
So that was my uh, DVD update. Uh, there were a lot of DVD updates uh, in a couple of uh, lots of DVD updates uh, lately because I got a lot of uh, really a lot of DVD uh, rentals. So uh, yeah, this was my DVD update. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. This was Flying Mustelo and out.